Today, I have entitled my message. Don't let the trouble kill your feet. Some people or pastors said, when you become born again, that's all. The things will go honky-donky for you. But today, I'm come to stand on the word of God that is not true. As a Christian, we will face it. The trouble will come. But he has given us power that we should pray to him. So, I am come to tell you something about a man was born in Israel. His name is Zachariah. Bible said he was a priest. And the wife is Elizabeth. They don't have a baby. And Bible said they were doing righteous. That's what my Bible said. When you read Luke chapter 1, you find it there. One day this man is going to do as I'm standing here doing. He went to the inner to pray and he encountered angel. And the angel prophesied to him that God has sent him to come and tell him he's going to have a child. Even he was doubted. Because of that, he became doomed. And John was born. That's what I'm coming from. This John, Bible tell us before like Jesus, before he came. But at the last point, he came that somebody is coming after him. He's not worthy. Even his shoe to untie. But he reached some stage. He sent his people to go and ask Jesus that he is the Messiah or we should wait for another. Praise the Lord. That, that means you see he came not ordinary. God let him come. But in the time of trouble, so you are going to face the trouble. Who tell you you are not? You are going to face it. So if that trouble come, please don't let your faith, uh, your faith kill. Go to your knees. There's somebody there. Since the beginning, Adam and Eve commit that sin. The word is diluted. There's nothing good in this earth. That's why God in his mercy he sent Jesus Christ to come and rescue us. Because sin come and the harmony Adam and Eve was having with God is gone. So the struggle come. That's why death, sin, sin, everything come after that. So people are killing each other. Sickness. So in the second kingdom there will be no sorrow. But right now my brethren there's a lot of trouble you and me are going to face. But he said we should take heart. So if that trouble come don't lose hope. So Paul said it in the I think Corinthians chapter 4, 16 and 18 that we don't lose heart because we have a house that is not built with a man's hand that is waiting for you and me. So let us keep cool and wait for that day. The new Jerusalem that is coming, the kingdom there's no trouble, no sorrow there. But right now, you and me, I'm not standing here to tell you that the trouble, we are not going to face it. The trouble will come. But the mediator, Jesus Christ, he's there for you and me. In the time of trouble, call upon his name. Amen. Chris, let's go to Job chapter 5, verse 1. Time's well spent, so I'm going to base here. Job says something. Job, Job chapter 5, verse 1. Job chapter 5, verse 1. Mm -hmm, go on. 
Call if you will. He said, you and me, we should call if you will. But who will answer you? But who will answer us? To which of the holy ones will you turn? In which of the holy ones, you and me, we will turn our trouble to? Go on. Resent kills a fool. Resentment Resent kills a fool. Kill a fool, yeah. And envy slays the simple. Mm-hmm. I myself have seen a fool taken, taking root, but suddenly his house was cursed. His children are far away from safety, crushed in court without a defender. Yes. The hungry consume his harvest. The Ta- hungry he consume his harvest. Taking it even from among thorns. Yes. And the thirsty pant after his wealth. Oh. For hardship does not spring from the soil. Hallelujah. Chris, pause there for me. Bible said hardship doesn't pour in the soil. So it come on human being like you and me. It's the Bible who is telling us that, not me. So if you think you are going to church and everything will going to be smooth for you, no. Everything, even that one, the Satan will torment you because he doesn't want you to do what God wants you to do and be blessed. So that's what we need to go on our knees every day because that is only we can defeat him. Nothing else. Chris, go on. Nor does trouble sprout from the ground. He said, nor than the troubles ground on the ground. The trouble come to you and me. But when the trouble come, it let us near to God. And it's true. Some will get closer to God. Some will run away. Even if they stop Christianity, they will not come to church again because the trouble is too much. Instead of him or her to stand firm and pray and overpower the trouble, he will run away. But Babu is telling us today that it doesn't come from ground. It comes to you and me. Let's go on. Yeah, man is born to trouble. A man, a man, a man. You were born to trouble. As I said, what Adam and Eve did. The harmony they were getting, all have taken away from us. So you and me, we born for a trouble. But there's something. If the trouble come, you can do. Let's go on. As surely as sparks fly upwards. But if you if I were you, I would appeal to God. I would lay my cause before him. He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed, miracles that cannot be counted. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He said, if he were you, he would pour everything to God. The God we serve, he never sleeps 24-7. Call upon him. Even he has said to us, we should call upon him in time of trouble and he will answer us. So why did that trouble want to kill your faith? Without faith, it's impossible to please God. We use faith to get something from God. In the Bible, it's a lot of death. Because of your faith, you are healed. Because of your faith, that this. Because of your faith. But if that faith kills, that means you are doomed. That's what the devil wants to do to you and me. Even she doesn't want us to read the Bible to get that faith. Because he said, faith comes by hearing. Not hearing about Pastor Kachira gossiping. Not hearing like about Pastor Apia chatting to you on the phone. But hearing comes from mommy what? The word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's only praise that you can get that faith. And the Satan don't want us to go through the Bible. Even Bible studies, you don't want it. I come from work, I'm tired. The body. That's why Jesus Christ said, if you love your body than him, you will not enter. Because he knows that the body will put us in trouble. Because this body is from this ground and this earth. So anything that 
squeeze. He doesn't want it. He wants everything to pamper. So if we rely on this body, my brothers, we will not enter the kingdom. Because he said, you should take the cross and follow him. Last time I told you here, if you see the way Jesus Christ carried the cross and climbed the stairs to where they crucified him, go to his right. Brother, you will not do what you are doing. He suffered because it's a hill like this. That's why he fell down, because it's not easy to carry this cross. But he said, you and me, we should do the same thing before we can follow him. That means you should let this body, don't let this body control you. Let the spirit tell you what to do. Because he said, those who are led by the spirit are the children of God. He didn't say those who are clean, like dressed or nice, and you are not black like me. You are perfect. No, he said, those who are led by the spirit. So let the spirit lead you. If the spirit leads you, you will be thirsty, thirsty. Because the Beatrice said, those who are thirsty for the word and hungry. So let that be your passion. That I'm hungry for the word. Even a day, if I don't touch the Bible, I can't sleep. That be a portion of you as a Christian life. Not the trouble. The trouble, I, the Bible is telling me that it will come no matter how. As I tell you before, his, Zachariah, he was not like you or me. Babu said he's clean. If Babu says somebody is, is, is right, then he's right. But still, John came. He faced the trouble. Peter faced it. Paul encountered Jesus on the road of Damascus. And he also. He had the same thing. So when you count from generation to generation, it's there. So not you, it will go. All we need is said there's somebody you can call. So put in your mind, I put in my mind that if that trouble comes, then it leads me to cross to him, to bend on my knee and put my petition to him. Bible said he can do more that you can think. The one you think is impossible. Then he will show himself to you. Chris, let's go. He provides rain for the earth. He provides rain for the earth. He sends water to the onto the countryside. He sends water. Where did the water come from? Even yesterday, the sun was shining at the five minutes. I see water. Is, the rain is coming. This is the God we serve. Go on. The lowly he sets on high mm -hmm. and those who mourn are lifted to safety. He thwarts the plans of the crafty so that their hands achieve no success. You see, somebody who can study, 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 study graduation upon graduation. But he's the same as I'm studying here. That is God. But somebody who start small thing because God is with him. You see, he's just booby. That's his life. He said they're crafty. Those who don't rely on God, they have problems every time. You and me, the trouble we are facing is not too hard for us that we can bear. Go on. He cut the he catches the wise in their craftiness <laughs> and the schemes of the wily are swept away. Yes, that's their God. Go on. Darkness comes upon them in the daytime. Yes. At noon they grope as in the night. Mm. He saves the needy from the sword in their mouth. He saves them from the clutches of the powerful. You see, he saved the needy. Even this pandemic, how many people have gone? But you and me, we are still alive catches some people, even if they ask them to bring money, they can pay. But it didn't help them. So don't think of anything 
He said, if I were you, I would call upon the Lord who give everything free in that charge. The brief that you brief, it is in charge. If you go to hospital, if they put that thing in your nose, you know after that how many, how much you pay. Oxygen, ma'am, yes. But God gives us free everything to that. All he needs is to acknowledge him, to worship him, to praise his holy name. He said, Thanksgiving, thank him every day and night. Adore him. Praise his holy name that he has done a lot for you and me. Amen. Chris, go on. So the poor have hope. The poor have hope. Poor like you and me. We have hope that even, even if we didn't make it life in this earth, there's a life for us waiting for us. The place that Jesus Christ is going to prepare, after that he will come and take you and me. That is the place you think of, not the trouble. Think of that place because he said we should focus our eyes on things that is not seen. That place you don't know, but we believe that it will come. Let's focus our mind, everything there, so that we will not waver. Go on. And injustice shuts his mouth. When he speaks, injustice shuts his mouth. Blessed the whole is... world, there's injustice. As Jesus asked Proto, what is truth? Proto asked Jesus, yeah, what is truth? There's no truth in the, this world. Especially this country, when you come and you lie, you'll be prosperous. But those who are in the right path, it's hard for us. A lot of people, dubious way, you see them buy houses. And thank you, they are riding big cars. So if you, 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 you think of our why, you understand? Your faith will kill. Don't let kill our faith because of all this thing. It will pass away. One day, one day, I will put my hand in my chest. I'm no more. Then Babu said, I'm going to stand on my maker. Last Wednesday, we read that. You see, there will be a judgment. Those who are doing the will of God will stand the right and those who are not doing the will of God they left. He said he will separate it like Sister Ta go to the market and separate what he want to buy to make the food. That's what God will do. He will separate us. Go here, go there. So let's focus on that place, not the trouble that we are facing. The trouble, even the millionaires, they also have their trouble. Nobody in this world will not face that trouble. But as a child of God, when that comes, try to let you lead you closer to God. God needs you to do something. Maybe that's why it had happened. Get closer to him and know him more. Simple. Chris, go on. Blessed is the one whom God corrects. So do not despise the discipline of the Almighty. Hallelujah. That's what I'm saying now. Blessed of you when God corrects you. Maybe Pastor Kachiri has seen a little bit. So I raise my arm. Talking to anybody anyhow I want. He said, if God bring that, God said, God has put some, even he let Satan Paul has the spirit which he cast Satan. But God let Satan torment Paul. See how God works. Not to you or me. He said, because Paul wanted, he, he has knowledge. And he wants to take everything himself that he had power, his spirit. He said, God sent Satan. So he prayed to God, God, take this sorrow. Me, God told him what. 
My grace, thank you. My grace, everybody know that. My grace. So you also, maybe because of stubbornness, God has put a trouble in your way. So let us close to God. I always said, me, the life I have passed through, if somebody told me that I'm come to stand here and preach, I would tell the person, you don't know nothing. But now, God, <laughs> he whipped me. And I go down, down, down to the pit. Even in reach some stage, I can walk about three and a half miles to go to church. But when I know the Bible now, I know that it leads me to cross God. Yes, it leads me to cross God. I was working with somebody. When I come home at 8 o'clock, this man will go to church woman before he will come to crochet. It's night. But you don't have to say, before I will come and cook. So it was built me to come to London to cook. Hallelujah. <laughs> so me, now I'm standing here, I'm not scared of cooking. Even if I come home 10 o'clock, I want to eat, I will go to the kitchen. Some men scared for the kitchen, but I'm not scared. You understand? Yes. You see, God know what he was doing. He prepared me that time. But that time, I was crying that God, why? But now, I understand him. You understand? I, I am doing a lot of things, which first, I will, I will not do it. You see, but God has come for everybody. So he prepared you for that season. Hallelujah. So if that come, he said, those who he loved, he disciplined them. So if you are here and the discipline is upon you, I beg you, don't quit. Don't throw the towel yet. Go on your knee and pray to him. He said, if I were you, I would call him. Let's call our maker. The Alpha and Omega. He is there. If he's not there, he will not tell us to call him. Grace go on. My time is almost done. For he wounds, but he also binds up. Hallelujah. He wounds and he also binds up. He, mm -hmm. he injures. He injures. But he but his hands also heal. And his hands also heal. From six calamities he will rescue you. Six calamities he will rescue you. In seven, no harm. In the touch seven, you. no harm. Yes. That's the God we serve. He takes something which is not there and put it there. I was working. Some, some people will come and stand far. That oh, they heard that Kwame is working with somebody to come and see me. God, those who know me, they know who I am. To come and stand somewhere and look at that is true or not. This is the God we serve. But when the time reached, the open door where there's no door. So the sixth calamity I went through, the seventh one, no harm. Hallelujah. As I'm standing here, I'm telling you, because of the word, I'm standing firm. I'm praying my prayers. God should not anything take me from him. That's all I need. Money, this, no. I want him to use me to glorify his holy name. That's all I need. Go on. In famine, he will deliver you from Hallelujah. death. In famine, in famine, I don't know what you are going through today. He said, In famine, he will deliver you if you will be in touch of for him. Focus on him, not your knowledge, not your understanding, not your perfection, but lean on him. Go on. And in battle, from the stroke of the sword, <laughs> you will be protected from the lash of the tongue. He said, You will be protected from the lash of the tongue. And need not fear when destruction comes. You, you will not, not, not fear when the destruction comes. That means the destruction will come to us. Go on. You will laugh at destruction and famine. You will laugh. You will laugh. Because you have the word of God in you. And you stand firm. The God of Abraham. The God of Jacob. The God of Isaac. He do wonders. A miracle. 
which we can confirm. He's almighty. He's all in all. Cast your burden onto him. Don't need on your understanding. But everything, go on your knee and tell him that, Father, this is what I'm facing. He's able, more than able to rescue you. Amen. Christ is finished, isn't it? Little bit. And need not fear the wild animals, for you will have a covenant with the stones of the field. Hallelujah. And the wild if animals... you rely on God, even the witch, the principality, the demons, you said you're not afraid of them. Because they have limits. If God doesn't permit them to do it, I tell you they can't do it. I'm standing here. If they can kill me, I was dead a long time. I went to Germany because of them. They deported me. When I came home, my mother told me that when you are traveling, you didn't tell me. That, that's why you come back. <laughs> See, that's what you tell human beings. But my second trip, I didn't tell nobody I'm here. <laughs> you see, that's, 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 they have limit. They have limit. They have prayers they can go. But if you have God, and if God opened the door, who can shut it? No one, no one. Because he is the Alpha and Omega. He created you and me. He created the demon. He created the witches. Where is their power? Hallelujah. Even they reach some stage, some people know that even I no more exist. But here I am. The God we serve. That's why every time I say, if you, you, you have somebody who will lead you to Christ, take the person like he's your best friend or your sister to show you Christ. Very good. He has given you a good, not money. Money, you, you finish it. But if he gives you Christ, that is the best gift anyone can give you. Christ, go on. You will know that your tent is secure and you will take stock of your property and find nothing missing. You will know that your children will be many and your descendant, descendants like the grass of the earth. You will come to the grave in full vigor and like sheaves gathered in season. We have examined this and it is true. So hear it and apply it to yourself. Amen. 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 Time is always gone. Otherwise, we will go to, I think, chapter 8, but we can't because chap, uh, the, the time is well gone. He said, the last verse, he said, we have examined this and it is true. So hear it and apply it to yourself. That is my word, last word. I have testified that the Bible is saying, but I also standing here and tell you that I have testified and know that it's true. So today, I pray it and it will be well with you. Amen.